Have you noticed that recently you've been quite hungry? All the time? Oh, and we're talking all the time. My friend, you might just have a parasite living inside you, eating all your food. This may take the cake as one of our grossest topics, we know. But hey, stick around and you'll learn how to deal with a parasite in your intestines that's taking all your cake. So let's dive in. Oh boy, parasites sure are nasty little dudes. From skin parasites like sand fleas or a screw worm to common ticks and scabies, no one wants these little guys around. They itch, cause redness and irritation of your skin, and can be passed pretty easily, especially if you wear someone else's clothes or are living in close quarters with someone who has them. The common thread with all parasites is that to survive, they use another living creature for their food, shelter, and means of transportation. But while the parasites we just mentioned are insects that latch onto, and sometimes bury into, your skin, they won't cause you to get hungry. And we're talking really hungry. It is absolutely true that if you find yourself with bouts of extreme hunger all the time, you could very well have an internal parasite living in your intestine. Commonly known as a tapeworm, this parasite can grow up to several feet long and will indeed feed off the food that you are trying to digest. So, how does someone get a tapeworm? Well, if you eat raw or uncooked beef, pork, or freshwater fish, you put yourself at risk for catching this microscopic menace. I bet now you're rethinking trying that homemade poke bowl your hippie significant other wants to make this weekend, huh? In addition to eating raw meats, tapeworms can be passed if you simply are in contact with a surface that has worms on it. This could be another person's hands, or dirt, even a small animal, anything. If there are worms on the surface that you touch, they are now on you. But how would you know that you have contracted something microscopic like a tapeworm? Well, as we've said, you would start to get really hungry. As the tapeworm grew, it would start to take away your food's nutrients. Thus, you would get less nutrients. Also, you would experience abdominal pain with possibly diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting, and quite a bit of fatigue. Not to mention, your rear end would itch all the time. We do want to point out, though, that tapeworms can be present in your system for years, and you wouldn't show any signs. It sounds scary, and that's because, well, it is. Be sure you take care if you know you are handling raw meats or animals you don't know, because you really don't want to catch a parasite. By now, we're pretty sure you're thinking, well, this is the grossest thing imaginable. But believe it or not, worms were not always thought of as the terrible intruder that they are. In the late 19th century, worms were used as a weight loss method. Oh, you heard that right. Advertisements claiming store-bought worms are easy to swallow and sanitized, while claiming that fat was the enemy that is shortening your life, were not uncommon. Thank goodness perceptions have changed. Or have they? People have been reported to continue to try this practice today. A woman from Iowa went to her doctor when she was feeling ill and confessed that she had bought a tapeworm online as a weight loss method. Sure, she lost some weight, but at what cost? She was truly sick when she came in to see her doctor. And here's the thing, if she had just stuck to a healthy diet and exercise, she would have lost the desired weight naturally. Ay, the shortcuts we take for beauty. Tyra Banks even did an episode on her TV show where she interviewed women and asked them if they would swallow a tapeworm if it meant weight loss. Believe it or not, many said yes. Just, ugh, no brainiacs, don't try it, it's bad for your health, it's unsanitary, and more than that, there's a small chance that having a tapeworm can cause death. So, just, yeah, don't. I think it's time we talk about how to deal with these intestine intruders. First of all, here's some good news. In some cases, if your immune system is fantastic, your body may kill off the tapeworm in a couple of weeks. But if this doesn't happen, seeing your doctor and having them prescribe a medication like Prasiquantel will do the trick. This medicine will paralyze the worm, disintegrate it, and then you'll pass it in due time. Problem solved. Thank goodness and good riddance. But brainiacs don't even get to this point. Just wash your hands. It's that simple. Before you eat, after you pick up a cute puppy, after playing in the mud, and especially after using the restroom, good old fashioned hand soap works wonders and will keep you worm free. 
So now you're sitting there wondering if your constant hunger pains are now, well, something more sinister. But before you freak out because you think you may have a tapeworm, we want to leave you with this. Tapeworms are extremely rare. Luckily in the US, we hold our food hygiene to a higher standard than in other parts of the world. So don't worry, Brainiacs, unless you've recently traveled out of the country, if you happen to find yourself unusually hungry, just eat up. We've all got to get proper nutrients to become big and strong. And remember, if you want to lose weight, do it yourself, not with the help of some super gross parasite. <laughs>